With Indian Wells just around the corner, we have a lot of players that are actually playing to defend a lot of points that they won last year at Indian Wells. Of course, the defending champions being Sviontek and Fritz. They're both trying to defend a 1,000 points, but there are a lot of players that are defending a lot of points and also players that have a lot to gain from this event. Let's go check it out. So having a look at the players that have points to lose at Indian Wells this year. On the WTA, we have Igor Sviontek, of course, the defending champion. 1,000 points to lose, and unfortunately, she has no points to gain, so she's going to have to defend the title to keep her points. Maria Sakri made the final hit last year. She has 650 points to defend. Paola Badosa made the semifinals last year, 309 points to defend and Wimbledon champion Alina Rabakina made the quarterfinals here last year has 215 points to defend so a lot of points for some of the big names on the men's side the points to lose of course Taylor Fritz defending champion thousand points to lose on his ranking Rafa Nadal he made the final last year 600 points and unfortunately won't be able to defend them this year because he's not playing Andre Rublev he made the semi-finals he has 360 points to defend and Carlos Alcaraz also has a semi-final points to defend with 360 points to his ranking so all top 10 guys there with points to lose how many got the points to gain now and there are some massive names on the wta starting with Ange Burr. she only made the second round here last year she has so many points that she can make up at this event same with sabalenka only made the second round here last year has so many points to make up and also close the gap between her and Igor fiontek at number one caroline garcia same thing only has a second round to defend from last year's tournament and jessica pagula also only a second round from last year to defend and interestingly enough, this is actually, as the rankings stand right now, the second, third, fourth, and fifth player in the world. So Sviontek's got the most points to defend, and the four players just below her have nothing to defend. So we could see some crazy things happen to the points total in Indian Wells if things do go the other way. On the men's side, some top 10 players that also don't have points to defend, we have Devano Pass. He only made the third round here last year, so a lot of points to gain for him. Also, Felix Ogeliasi made the second round here last year. He's got a lot of points to make up. Holger Runa, also, a lot of points that he can make up with his third round last year. Daniel Medvedev also has a lot of points that he can make up. And of course, he is probably the favorite to win this event, if not one of the top three. So a lot of points he can make up to continue rising up the rankings. So again, just like on the ladies' side, a lot of top 10 guys that have a lot of points they can make up at this event. So there it is, the points to lose and the points to gain. For some of the biggest names in tennis, of course, Indian Wells starts in about 24 hours' time. Most of these players won't be playing until the weekend, though. So we won't see these players you know, kick off their campaigns for a couple of days. But who do you think is actually going to take advantage of maybe the points they have to gain? And who's going to maybe lose a lot of points and maybe even lose their ranking? I mean, a lot of pressure on Fritz to keep that 1,000 points under his belt. And of course, he is in the top 10, a career high number five in the world a few weeks ago. He's trying to maintain that. He's going to have to do something crazy, maybe to make the final to keep that position. But let me know down in the comments below. Who's got the most to gain and the most to lose in your opinion?